I've been in Nova Scotia for six or seven months now. And uh, quite interestingly, surprisingly, and you know, very much appreciatedly, I have yet to get any tickets. I have had a few warnings, but no tickets. And uh, I come from Ontario, where the majority of us have to deal with a police agency known as the OPP, Ontario Provincial Police. Now, anyone who's ever had extensive dealings with the OPP will realize that OPP officers are the rejects of Ontario. They tried to get on the Toronto Police, they tried to get on the Durham County or the Peel Regional, or they tried to get on better police services and they couldn't. So they went to the OPP, which, although they do relocate you, it's just easier to join. They're easy, whoa, hey, easier to get onto. But the end result is whenever you get stopped by an OPP officer, you can usually bet that they're not the most competent police officer, they're pretty disgruntled, and they're just generally unhappy and prone to resentment. And the, the end result, obviously, is that uh, quite often, Jesus Christ, you are uh, stuck feeling like you're treated unfairly, you're stuck, oh geez. Yeah. It's, it's just all around not a good time. Uh, and, uh, yeah, you're stuck. You gotta remember what gear I'm in. You gotta really, like, uh, pay attention. Uh, but, yeah, when you deal with the OPP, it sucks. You feel like you're dealing with a corrupt, lying, shit sack, moron, incompetent fucktard. And the reality is, you are. I lived in Ontario up until six months ago my whole life. And I have been stopped close to 50 fucking times in my life. Police pulling me over. And of those nearly 50 times I've been pulled over, I have been cited seven, maybe eight times. And in fairness, some of those citations were pretty serious. Failure to stop being one of them. But the fact that they've stopped me 30, more than 30, fucking more than 40 fucking times these idiots have stopped me and ended up not citing me because a few occasions I talked my way out of it but on an alarming number of occasions the morons were pulling me over for stuff I didn't do they were pulling me over for th laws they didn't know like they were inaccurate on uh, I'm stopping here because look at this F-150 those are some shiny rims I like those rims it's in good shape nice blue not Ford Blue, though. But yeah, um, so yeah, all the times I've been stopped, the number of times that they were actually justified in stopping me was far fewer. And the majority of times I've had the misfortune of dealing with OPP, it's been a corrupt lying shit sack who's trying to trick me into confessing to something I didn't do, who's trying to charge me with something I didn't do, who's so ignorant of the law that they thought I had done something even though I hadn't. And it definitely leaves me to a point where I see an OPP car, I fucking turn and walk the other way, because I know, given the chance, an OPP officer is going to do everything he possibly can to fuck me over. And I know not everyone's dealings with the police are like that. And, uh, I know, and you know what? This is in my experience, and in the experience of many people I know, the OPP, you, you just avoid them at all costs. They're incompetent, they're lazy, they're, they're dishonest, they're assholes. Now, I now live in Halifax, Nova Scotia, and as of such, I am under the jurisdiction of the HRM, Halifax Regional Municipal Police. I think so. That might be wrong. Don't quote me if I got the acronym wrong. <laughs> but uh, in my time here, I've noticed a few things about the Halifax cops. Now, I'm going to start with the negative and then go into the positive because there's a bit of both. Negative? I don't know what it is about the Halifax police, 
but they do not know how to regulate traffic. Um, I, I honestly, I don't know what the fuck the deal is, but what, if you see an HRM cop car, you can pretty much assume there's going to be a fucking traffic jam soon, because they will block entire roads when they only need to block one lane. Uh, they will block entire streets for no reason. Um, when they're escorting parade goers, rather than directing traffic to turn off the route, they force traffic to stay on the route and just not move. Uh, and like literally, we had this, uh, it was for Halloween, old Volvo, it's for Halloween, people were walking with lanterns, and they were walking on the sidewalk, but the police still decided to close down half of the road so that these people could walk on the sidewalk, and the end result was traffic... Okay, my brakes worked there. I didn't think they would. And the end result was traffic was backed up all the way to fucking Spryfield from South Park Street. So, and and at any point in all of this traffic, if the cop had just been, instead of stopping people behind the, the lanterners, if he had just waved them to go right or left and stop traffic going the other way so that they could direct traffic, wouldn't have been a traffic jam. There was no reason for there to be a traffic jam. If they had directed traffic at all, there wouldn't have been a traffic jam. But unfortunately, they don't know how to direct traffic. That's ridiculous. And this isn't the only time. Every time I have seen an HRM officer directing traffic, they are doing it badly. They are making the situation worse. They're fucking incompetent. And... It's just fucking ridiculous. Um... Bye, law officer. Alright, and uh, now, on to the positive. Uh, because my dealings with the HRM police so far have been positive, uh, for the most part. Um... Actually, another negative, because I just remembered it. Um... I had gotten pulled over... And it, it wasn't even pulled over. It was a road uh, roadblock where they check your inspection sticker. And they gave me a warning because when I had bought the car, it wasn't inspected quite yet. And they gave me a warning for that, which is good. But the insurance card I had in the car was a temporary insurance card. And... She gave me a no insurance ticket because I only had the temporary card and I didn't have the valid insurance card. And... It was kind of a fuck you. Because one, if she she ran my plate, she knew the car was registered and insured. Because it has to be insured to register it. She saw my temporary insurance card, which is one day out of date. But she still gave me the no insurance ticket, which, another thing, in Ontario, no insurance, you could be spending up to $50,000 on that ticket. No insurance in Halifax, 1000 bucks. It's literally cheaper to just drive without insurance here. But, like I said, they gave me the warning for the no insurance. Fuck, it's hot in here. And I had to go to a police station and pay $25 to drop the ticket and show them my insurance card. Well, one... I should have only had to show my insurance card and they should have thrown it out. There shouldn't be a fucking fee. And two, $25, fuck you. And three, the guy at the counter was a fucking asshole. He was rude. He was fucking uh, very condescending. And he fucking blatantly stopped doing his job to go shoot the breeze with another cop that showed up. And just left me fucking standing there. Now, back to... The positives, which is what I was supposed to be on. Um, when it comes to dealing with shit so far, in my experience anyways, uh, the HRM are a lot more... Uh, well, one, they're not disgruntled assholes, so they're not going to just ticket you simply because they're unhappy with their lives. Um, and they actually, in my experience so far, take into consideration all of the details. Like, you're speeding... And they pull you over, and it's like, I was going 10 over, and everyone around me was going 10 over. And that give you a warning and let you go. And uh, when I did a burnout on a major street, 
Uh, the officer's like, why, uh, why, why the burnout? And I was like, well, they were hooping and hollering. They wanted to see it. There were no cars in front of me. There were no cars behind me. I did a quick couple second burnout and slammed on the brakes right away. I was 100%. Oh, shit. I just splashed that bitch. Oh, sorry. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. And I sound like a douchebag because I very clearly find it hilarious. Oh, man, I feel kind of bad. Um, but yeah, I uh, did a burnout on Spring Garden. You've seen the video. The cop put a scare into me. Uh, I explained to him that, yeah, it was stupid, but I had taken as many precautions as I could. And you know what? He listened, and he gave me a warning. That was intelligent. That was, it was smart, because it's not like I was doing donuts, and it's not like there were people behind me waiting. It's not like there were oncoming traffic I could have hit. Should I have done it? No. But was it, like... I, uh, something worthy of losing my driver's license? No, it was not. That's fun. Um... But yeah, so far, every time I've been pulled over, and it's been a few times, actually, which maybe I should think about. Yeah, they've all taken into consideration that what I was doing wasn't really that dangerous, and they've given me a warning and let me go. So, my experience with the OPP in Ontario, they're incompetent, they're disgruntled, they're disrespectful, they're rude, they're lying, they're assholes. My experience... My experience with the HRM, they're kind of incompetent, but they're respectful for the most part. And they're not, they're, uh, well, they're, I don't know, they're better.